making it worse. That's a great line. You know, a, a, a couple of observations. I'm profoundly saddened by what's going on in Iraq. We lost a lot of bodies, a lot of lives, a lot of American kids there. We, lost, we spent a ton of money there, and now it feels like it's all going away very quickly. Um, I'm going to agree with Greg with the oil. I think the real, what we really, really need to do is become self-sufficient on oil. Look what happened today. With just what's going on so far, oil prices spiked to $106 a barrel, $2, and then will continue if they do take the southern port where the oil exportation happens. I'm going to disagree a little bit here with Dana. I, I, I think we did what we were supposed to do in Syria because, again, this ISIS group is a, uh, is a rebel group, not very much unlike the SOC group, which we backed. So we, there's a group that, we're, that we're, we actually said, John McCain said, yes, we should, the, the rebels in, in Syria, we should back them with some military support, with some, some, with some weaponry. And then this ISIS group, do you realize that they, these two groups are fighting arm in arm together against Bashar al-Assad in Syria? My point is this. Don't get involved with these confrontations. Don't loan money, loan bodies, give bodies, uh, sacrifice human beings, Americans, for some of these things until we know exactly who we're fighting for and who we're fighting with. So I think, in one sense, we made some moves right and we made some mistakes. Dana? I'll pass and let Bob, who's huffing and puffing over uh, there. I was going to say, I don't, know, I don't know which. You're both making a similar face for different reasons, but I'll let Bob's <laughs> Bob, look of disgust well, take it away. I, I just <laughs> wanted to, uh, I, there's, there's so much revisionism going on here that, uh, it, first of all, there never were Islamic radicals in Mosul or Tikrit. They were, came in afterwards. The Ba'athists were putting them down. Saddam Hussein kept that country in a pretty good shape, and he was our ally. Remember against the Iranians? So I'm not going to go dwell on the fact that I was opposed to this war in the beginning or that a lot of this was predicted a long time ago. But the Iranians are the ones who rose up here, and the Iranians are where these, these people are coming from, and the Iranians themselves. The idea that the, that, that the Revolutionary Guard would be in, Iran, in Iraq, I mean, Saddam Hussein would have mowed them all down. It, but we made Iran into a very big country as a result of it. This is not something that the president lost. I mean, what were we going to do? We're going to stay in there for 40 years? First we, did all, that we, been, we did that with Korea. Well, we did, that was we by, did it with Japan. That was by treaty. And that, there hasn't had a fight. There hasn't been a fight over there, as far as I know. Look what we did for Japan. Look yeah. what we did for Korea. Do you want us to stay in? in Iraq that's what we for used to years? do. But for what? Well, that's what we used to do. We don't do it anymore. That Fine. Was a world war. Yeah. Yeah. This is not a world war. What is, is it, it then? Well, okay. It's you can not a global war on, war on terror. On terror? We Iraq is not even a serious conversation. Talk about revisionist history. What's the revision? And the other thing, everybody forgets that like, on 9-11, one, th one of the keys was to try to prevent a place where terrorists would have a safe haven to plot and plan. They're not going to stay within one border. They don't even think there is a border now. That, that's what this group declared today, that the, that the border right. between Iraq and Syria no longer exists, going back to the Ottoman Empire. Mm -hmm. And I think that we are foolish to think that we can just pretend like nothing's happening, that it's shut down, just... Focus within here because where they have a safe haven to plot and plan, you can't drone that out of a state like that. And, and it's, it's also the idea that the, the United States turned down. They, they can't bomb and use American air power in Mosul because a lot of civilians will get killed. And that's what, what they wanted. And the, they gov the, the, the government of Iraq did not want a lot of civilians to get I, killed. Obviously, they did, but they asked for us to when bomb When they were moving and down if on I could Mosul. Just make, I wasn't going to make this point, but I, I think I will. The first city that was turned over, the safe, most secure city to the Iraq to the Iraqi military was in 2008 in a big ceremony saying, we've now got all these people trained, and this is the one safe place you can have. Now, the fact of the matter is, back then, anybody who followed this would have predicted this was going to happen. Iraq is gone. It's going to fall apart. That's not true. It was actually the generals who told President Obama, if you don't follow through, that's what will happen. Well, that's what was through predicted. What? Follow, follow through, through on, the, uh, on the status of forces agreement, which President yeah. Obama failed to sign. So and they said that this is exactly what would happen. It was the ge I would prefer to listen to the generals than to somebody who hasn't been in government in years any day. So, so can I ask you this then, Bob? Uh, let, let's extrapolate this now with, 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 okay, with that was Afghanistan. Okay, a good shot. So President well, you Obama take shots constantly, Bob. You sit there and you act like, you, like the, the, I, everything from 1978 is still relevant today after 9-11. Uh, I, and I'm, it's, I think you're suggesting 9-11 seems to be the rationale for everything we do. Well, can, can, can I ask you this? So, all right, so Afghanistan, right? President Obama has now declared that by 2015, 2016 or so, we will be completely out of Afghanistan. Yes. By your own admission, that's a mistake. 
No, I don't think it's well, I don't think we should I, be I, there I at all. So. I, I didn't Wait, think but we, we don't are. deal in reality. It's too late. We What's are reality? Reality? The reality we just want to leave. Why, why, why does do it keep, matter? Why do you keep putting Hillary Clinton back in the spotlight by I, repeating I, 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 her ridiculous I, 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 like, I like the word. It doesn't help Hillary Clinton at all. I, fine. But, no, no, but, but, but why are we in the, Afghanistan? Let's be pregnant. We're oh. there. So the question is, do you turn it over to the Afghanis and, and, and risk what's going on in Iraq? Or do you stay there? You stay there for 50 years. I'm asking you, Bob. You're your complaint. It's time for us to do leaving some special forces into the border with Pakistan and let the rest of it go because it's going to fall apart. How much history do you need to see? I don't care how old I am and how long ago 